Hey y'all, Dan from danwagner.co with a quick walkthrough on highlighting certain columns based on a user's selection inside a worksheet and a similarly quick rundown of the worksheet selection change event, which is going to do most of the heavy lifting in this particular case. So you can see on our worksheet, we have a simple calendar from columns C to I, and we have three activities in column A, and our goal is to allow the user to click an activity and highlight the respective column that corresponds to when that activity can take place. So first things first, let's talk about where this code actually resides inside the worksheet. Typically, you would right click on Microsoft Excel objects and go to insert module, but because we're going to be taking advantage of this selection change event, you're actually going to want to put your code inside sheet one calendar or whatever the name of your worksheet is. And so rather than creating a new module, again, you want your code to live inside sheet one calendar. And as far as the events go, you'll, you'll see when you change from general to worksheet here, that there are tons of existing events that you can take advantage of, like before double click, before right click, etc. The one that we're really interested in right now, though, is selection change. And so that is what we're going to walk through. Let's go ahead and put some breakpoints in place so we can see step by step what is happening inside the worksheet selection change macro here. So let's go ahead and click on biking. So you can see the selection just changed, right? The user clicked on the worksheet and changed the cell from wherever we were, A5 or A6 or A4, I don't remember, but now we're in A1. And so worksheet selection change picks that up and gives us the, the range that was selected here. And so you can see target is equal to A1. So first things first, uh, inside the script itself, I'm going to use this with and with context manager because I only want to operate on the calendar sheet. The next to do on the list is to make sure that there are no highlighted columns in the first place, right? Because I want the calendar to be cleared of any previously existing highlighting. It just so happens that we didn't have any on the sheet. And then we go ahead and enter this select case statement. And so select case is great here because we don't necessarily want to write tons and tons of if, else if, else if, else ifs. We just want to look at some variance on what the target address could be. And select case is perfect for that. It saves us some typing and it's a really clear and concise way to do lots of if else statements all rolled into one. And so you can see we're selecting, uh, we're, we're in this select case on target address, which is A1. So I'll click play again. This is going to hit, right? Because the, the address is A1. So if cell A1 is clicked, then we want to highlight cell C5 through C9 in yellow. And you'll see that does in fact take place and since our select case found a match it exits and we exit this context manager and it's all good so let's see what happens when we click off of one of these three trigger cells a1 a2 and a3 once again the worksheet selection change event picks up the change and we go through the same process so you'll see we're in the calendar sheet context. We clear our existing highlight because again, we're not in one of the activities right now. And so we don't necessarily want to see that. And we enter our select statement again. We're not in A1 anymore. We're not in A2 and we're not in A3. So nothing happens. Awesome. Now, when we click on swimming, we go through the exact same process. And you'll see this time we're going to highlight cells D5 through D9 green. 
boom, nice. And finally, I'm going to ditch these breakpoints and demo clicking on the A3 rowing option and show how quickly we get E5 through E9 in orange. And this is going to be really convenient for the user of this tool because he or she can quickly identify what days an activity is an option for, for that given activity. And so with that, it looks like we are all good and you hopefully have a good grasp on the worksheet selection change event and how you can take advantage of it to, to do some pretty cool interactive tools inside Excel. Thanks so much.